Hi, my name is Patrick Green. I'm Assistant Customer Service Supervisor Field. And in this segment, we're going to talk about how to read your water meter and to determine uh, how to check for leaks. Uh, one of the first things you want to do before you're able to read your meter is you want to locate uh, where your meter is at. And for uh, this uh, demonstration purpose, we're going to use a home in the historical Quapaw uh, edition. Uh, most of our uh, meters are typically located out on the curb, uh, maybe near a sidewalk or pretty close to the street. Now in rural areas, you have to remember that most of our meters in rural areas may not be out on the front of the home. It may be in an alley or it may be uh, on another uh, street. And so if you're having a difficult time finding it, uh, customer service can give you those locations. But in this particular area, uh, we've found a water meter. And one of the first things you want to do is have a screwdriver or something that you're able to take off your meter lid. Now, because we do have, uh, sometimes you have spiders and bugs and different things in your box, it's always a good idea just to take your screwdriver and go around, make sure there are no spider webs or anything in the way. In this box here, we have a 5 8 meter, which is a meter that feeds your house. And we've also got a one inch meter, which is a meter for your sprinkler system. Uh, one of the ways of reading your meter is to identify your house meter, if, or whichever meter you're, you're calling about. All of our meter numbers are gonna be stamped on the top of the meters, as you can see on this particular meter. And also, uh, they're also um, stamped at the bottom of the meter lid. And for demonstration purposes, we're going to use uh, this particular meter, which is a 5 8 meter. And there are three things that we want to look at on this meter. Uh, first of all, you want to locate your meter register, which will be covered by glass. Uh, you've got a red, what we call a red sweep hand. And you've also got a little red triangle. And sometimes it may be a diamond or an asterisk. And you also notice your readings here. In central Arkansas water builds in 100 cubic foot. One revolution around is a cubic foot of water, which is 7.48 gallons of water. If you suspect you may have a leak, the low flow indicator will help you with that. And what you have to do is go in your home and turn off all faucets, uh, turn off uh, any washing machines, turn off any garden hoses, uh, make sure there are no, your, if you have a uh, automatic ice maker on the refrigerator, you wanna also turn it off. Come back out to your meter and look at your low flow indicator. And if it's moving, uh, that's an indication that you do have a leak uh, on your house line. As always, if you have any questions uh, about your meter or your bill, call customer service at 372-5161. Uh, they're always available and willing to answer any question that you may have concerning uh, your account.